Welcome to My View from the Woods. Today we're going to talk about when to start seeds and when to get ready for the garden. It is the first week of March here in Zone 5 in Syracuse, New York. And I want to go over some of the things that I do because when the sun starts to come out, the days are getting longer, I get a little antsy that I don't have the plants started that I need to. I'm always a month or two early, but still I get nervous. So I want to go over how I keep track of records. Originally, I just used a waterproof notebook and I'd keep this in the car. The problem is whenever I had it in the car, I wanted it in the house. And whenever I wanted to write something down in the garden, I left it at the house. So I never seemed to have it with me. So it was always a problem back and forth and when to have it. So I actually have started a new method. But I didn't start that until after I started seeds last year. So let's go over the records from last year. And this is why record, this is why keeping records is so important because I just don't remember back to last year when I started seeds. I knew it was in March, I thought, but I wasn't sure. So I started out with the 2021 season here and I started on 321 and I said the garlic is finally popping up. Now last year was a really mild year. Matter of fact, after uh, April, we didn't really even have a hard frost and a lot of the evenings were very warm. The year before, it was in the mid 30s until almost the end of May. So the seasons really do vary here in zone five, so you have to be a little bit careful. But in that, that saying that, you really need to be prepared to. So let's go over. So on the 21st, I just said basically the, this is March of 2021, garlic's finally popping. I went down there two days ago and it was covered with snow, so that has not popped yet. I do have a thermometer and what I use is a compost thermometer and I stick it in the beds because soil temperature is really important for a lot of these early seeds. So on the 23rd of March, right, today is the 7th, the bed was 45 degrees, so it wasn't really ready for planting. But that said, I decided to plant pea seeds that day, so I planted peas on March 23rd. So I still have a couple weeks left yet. And since there's still more snow on the ground and the ground is still frozen, I'm not really worried about that right now. And since this is my 2021 entries, I haven't, I don't have any starts going yet. So let's see when I, when I did that. As a matter of fact, I put down here, no sets started yet. I call them sets. Some people call them starts, whatever they are. So I didn't sow anything until the 26th of March. And that was when I sowed my New York early onions. Those are my cooking onions. I also put in, I also sowed some uh, Bloomsdale spinach. So I started some spinach early and I did all the Swiss chard. So I have a little while yet, but now let's make sure I have the seeds. New York early onions. So these are like cooking onions. So here's my seeds and I've gone through this earlier in the last fall to make sure I have the seeds and order seeds, but I still want to make sure. So those are bunching onions. Here's my New York early onions. And these are old seeds, but I'm still going to go with them. They're actually from 2019. When I look in here, I think I have enough for this year. How many did I start last year? I sowed 72 cells and I put three three seeds in each one. So 200 and some seeds. Well, I'm gonna go with what I have. And if I don't have enough, I'll order some really quick and, and put them in. I also planted uh, these Cabernet. These are red onions. I seem to have plenty of those. And I planted Walla Walla, the sweet onions. I really like those. And I believe I have enough of those seeds. Green onions, I'm not really worried about because I sell microgreen seeds and I have seeds for green onions anyways. So I think I have enough Walla Wallace. I probably would want to plant more, but for now we'll start and see what we have. Something new this year though, is I'm planting these other bunching onions and they're called red beards. And the outside sheath of the onion is red instead of white. So I'm pretty interested. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to, to start those. So I think for onions, at least to start, I'm all set. But let's get on with my new method here. I've, I have an iPhone and I've got an app called Day One. It's basically a journaling app and you can start different journals in it. 
So here I have one for microgreens, but I also have one for the garden. And maybe I'll show you some close-ups of these. But I, I would definitely recommend, I think the subscription is only like $30 a year. You can get as many journals as you want to. You can add pictures, dates, it, it's locations, it does times. It's, it's really great. And here's why I like it. So using the day one journaling app, I can put a keyword in here and my keyword is note. So anything that I wanted to remember for sure for the following year, I can just type in a heading of note. So when I search for note, all the things that I want to remember for sure are here. So let's see. So I put one of the notes is plant celery early. And I am going to plant more celery this year. And again, you'll see that. So I need to start it earlier than I did last year. And the thing is, I wrote it down in these notes. So I'll have to look and see exactly when I started it. But I probably will plant at the same time as I start my onion sets. Get yours your kale. Plant less pepper plants. I had way too many pepper plants for what I used last year. Grow basil, oregano, parsley, maybe rosemary to dry. So I'm, gro I'm growing these herbs for my own dried spices for the winter. Note, Abe Lincoln is a keeper. So that means I want to make sure I have Abe Lincoln tomato seeds to plant. Note, no potatoes in second bed on east side, bed seven. So I don't want to plant potatoes there. Something came up and I want to make sure that I remember not to do that. So that's why I like this journaling app on my phone. One, I usually have my phone with me when I'm at the garden. And two, I can put certain keywords in here and I can bring them up anytime. Or, although the whole year is in there, say I want to say uh, kale. I can put in kale, type it. All the things about kale, anywhere, any journal entry that has kale in it has come up. So I can go through and figure out when I planted tomatoes, when I started the sets, when I planted the tomatoes outside, any keywords that I noted, in other words, it was too early, it was too cold, these didn't do good. Um, when did I start my um, plum tomatoes for tomato sauce? Things like that. That's why I like this, this app, because it's searchable, while this is time-consuming searchable. It may So, when did I start? Here we gotta go back to this old fashioned. So I sowed on the 26th of March last year onions and spinach, my early spinach and my Swiss chard and everything did really well. And I also have some other things here. I did do some early lettuce, but that was too early. My Walla Walla peppers. And on the 27th, I started my peppers and tomatoes. How about spinach? Well, I got a buttload of Bloomsdale spinach here and I went through my notes earlier and I don't really want to grow that. I want to grow these other varieties. Renegade, Butterfly, and these are some older Renegade. I bought some new Renegades. So these are the spinaches that I'm going to grow. I do start some early in trays. Most of the time I plant them out. I'm going to grow a lot more spinach this year. Last year I froze my spinach. This year I'm going to try to can it. I still have some left. I actually had some last night. It was still okay, but I think I'm gonna to try to can it. So spinach is all set. Uh, peas, so I put peas in the ground as soon as the ground's ready. I like to wait till it's 45 degrees. That's the key for me for peas. I have these little marvels that I used last year, or this is a second packet I got because I was gonna plant some more for the fall, but I didn't. And then I bought these um, PLS 595 shell peas. I got enough to sell. I don't know if I'm gonna sell garden seeds this year. I think I'm gonna get pictures this year and then put seeds in the home microgreen store for next year. But we'll see how these grow. Um, I've heard good things about this variety, so we're gonna plant some of those. Um, tomatoes, that's the other thing. Paste tomatoes. I don't start these really early. I plant these after Memorial Day, so I don't start those right away. But I do start other ones, and you can see I have a tomato problem. Also, eggplant. I know eggplant takes a long time, so I'll probably plant that along with the tomatoes. So I know I have my eggplant 
and I have plenty of tomato seeds here to pick from. And again, what I'm gonna do is go through the app. I took notes last year on what tomatoes I wanted to keep and what ones I didn't really want to. So I'm gonna go through my day one app and I'll see what ones I like and I'll grow those. I'll grow some new ones and some of them I just won't be growing this year. So that's it for the video today. It's the beginning of March and zone five. Remember, this is all about zone five. And this is my double check to make sure that I have the seeds I need to get started when I do start and also when to start because I don't ever remember. But you can see it was towards the end of March. So I still have a couple weeks since this is the first week in March, but I wanna make sure that I'm all set. And now I'll leave these seeds out and I'll start getting a little bit more organized and start thinking about where I'm gonna put these plants. And that will be in another video because I have some new lights to check out. And again, if you don't have, I don't know if the day one app is on um, anything but Apple, but I would definitely, definitely get the day one app. It just helps so much to figure out what plant you like. And see, even Caden says so. What plant you like and what, and, and just, it's really easy to go through your notes and figure out what you want. So again, the day one app. All right, well, thank you. That's it for today's video. And we will start with new videos when we get peas in the ground and we start planting sets. And Caden, you are a good boy today. Yes, you are good. He's a year old now, so he's starting to be a little bit more of a good dog, not so much of a puppy, although he has his moments. But anyways, thank you for watching and we'll see you in a couple weeks.